Are you Adrian Gonzalez Mercado? Yeah. Mr. Mercado, you were arrested on a, on a warrant out of Orange County. Angry. The bond in that case is set oh, at none. Oh. In English? No. Yeah, this is a Spanish interpreter case. Uh, we were unaware. Senor, get to me. Senor. All right, well, you can sit back down and wait till I finish. Justin O. No, after uh, the PD's department out of county. Justin Odom. Are you Justin Odom? Yes, sir. You were arrested for on an out of county warrant out of Highlands County for a violation of your probation. Your bond in this case is set at none. Good luck to you, sir. Michael Bonifer, case 24, CF 3431. You are still in the hospital. All right, so his case will be taken off of the IA docket but until he gets out of the hospital and then it can be reset. Logan Clark, 23, CT 2955. Media approved. Are you Logan Clark? Yes, Your Honor. You were arrested on a violation of probation. The original charge was DUI. The allegations are that you failed to pay your cost of supervision, that you failed to complete the DUI counterattack school. Your public defender is appointed to represent you, and the bond is set at $2,000. Good luck to you. Thank you. Next court date, November 14th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4B. If out on bond, January 8th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4B. Julian Garcia, 24MM25. Julian Garcia. You were arrested on a bench warrant for failure to appear at your pretrial conference. Public defender is appointed, and your bond is set at $2,000. Good luck to you. Next court date, December 11th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4B. Jalen Hatcher, 22 CF 3378. PD approved. Are you Jalen Hatcher? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Hatcher, you were arrested on a violation of probation affidavit. You were originally placed on, on community control for burglary of a conveyance. And it alleges that you failed to remain confined to your approved place of residence and that you failed to submit to electronic monitoring. The uh, that at none. Public Defender's Office is appointed. Your next court date, December 3rd, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4F. Daquan Johnson, 24 CF 3421 and 24 CF 3445. And as a point of information, the state is going to file a pretrial detention motion for Mr. Johnson's home invasion case. Are you Daquan Johnson? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Johnson, you were arrested on a warrant for home invasion with a weapon, aggravated battery with a we deadly weapon, and petty theft, third or subsequent offense. The state attorney has advised they are seeking pretrial detention on counts one and two, as those are crimes of violence under chapter 907. Just the charges? Bond on count number three is $5,000. As a condition, you are not to return to the scene of the offense. Do not come within 500 feet of the victim's residence. You cannot possess any drugs without a valid prescription, no firearms, weapons, and also no contact with the co-defendant or any witnesses. And your honor, I wanted to confirm because uh, I heard the state attorney say they were only filing the PTD on count one. Is it for count one and two? I believe it's count one and two. I haven't seen it myself, but I expect it's count one and two from what I've been told. Understood. And who is the case assigned to? Your honor, uh, your honor's courtroom, and it's with Miss Mendes. Tuesday at, I'm not doing it at 8.15. It'll be Tuesday at 2.30. PM. Uh, Your Honor, what, what date is that? Tuesday. Um, that would be the 12th. Thank you. That's when I got court? Yes. And okay. then there is another case here, 24CF3445. 
In that case, he's charged with resisting arrest without violence, possession of a controlled substance without a just possession of a controlled substance. It looks like cocaine, possession of less than 20 grams of cannabis, possession of drug paraphernalia and tampering. On count number one, two, three, and four, I find that there is probable cause. The bonds will be set at $500, $2,500, $500, and $500, respectively. On the tampering with physical evidence, I don't find probable cause. You will be released on your own recognizance as to count number five. While you are out, you are not to have any drugs unless you have a valid prescription, no firearms, weapons, or ammunition. Good luck to you, sir. Next court date on demand. James Johnson, 23 CF 3259. Media approved. Are you James Johnson? I'm sorry, are you James Johnson? You were arrested on a violation of probation affidavit where the underlying offense was possession of ammunition by a convicted felon. It alleges you failed to report, you failed to complete the drug evaluation and treatment, you failed to complete 25 hours of community service, you changed your residence without getting permission, and you failed to complete the driving while license suspended or revoked class. Your bond set at none. And the public defender is appointed to represent you. Next court date, November 18th, 8.45 a.m. Courtroom 5A. David Morales Ketian, 4 CF 2885. Now out to the police office. Spanish? Yeah, this is a Spanish interpreter, guys. Wesley Casley Rivera, 24 CT 1214. Are you Wesley Pasley Rivera? Yes, ma'am. You were arrested on a bench warrant. Failure to appear for arraignment. The public is appointed. Your bond is set at $2,000. While out on bond, you are not to drive unless you have a valid driver's license. I do have one, ma'am. Good luck to you. Next court date, November 14th, 8.30 a.m. Courtroom 4B. If out on bond, December 6th, 8.30 a.m. Courtroom 4E. All right. Madam Clerk, on this next case, Rashad Whitted. I only have one case, 24 CF 3294. There's a note that there are two cases. I don't know, but I don't have anything for 24 CF 3294. Thirty-two ninety-four is the correct one. Okay. okay. Are you Rashad Whitted? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Whitted, you were um, arrested on a bench warrant where probable cause was found for selling a controlled substance within a thousand feet of a place of worship. The public defender's office is appointed to represent you. Your bond will be stayed at seventy-five hundred dollars. You are not to possess or consume any drugs without a valid prescription. You cannot possess any weapons, firearms, or ammunition, and you cannot return to the scene of the offense. Good luck to you, sir. Next for a date on demand. Rafael Cordova Huertas, case 24, CF 3447. He denied. Are you Rafael Cordova Huertas? Yes, ma'am. You were arrested on a charge of hindering communication with or to a law enforcement officer, battery and battery causing bodily harm. There's probable cause to support all three charges. State, are you seeking pretrial detention? No, Your Honor. Right. So there's probable cause. You know what? I got to change the time on that other case. Can you all pull the case where there was a pretrial detention hearing? I need that hearing set Tuesday at 9.30 instead of 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
So on Mr. Cordova's case, like I said, there's probable cause. The public defender is appointed to represent him. And the bond on the first count will be set at $3,500. And on the battery charge, $1,500. And on the second battery charge, $1,500. You're not to return to the scene of the offense. You can have no contact with the victims in the case. No drugs without a valid prescription. No firearms, weapons, or ammunition. Good luck to you, sir. Emmanuel Lewis Johnson, 24 MM 2737. Are you Emmanuel Lewis Johnson? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Johnson, you were arrested on a charge of trespass after a warning, and there's probable cause to support the arrest. The public defender is appointed to represent you, and your bond is set at $500. You're to have no contact with the victim or any witnesses in the case. You are not to return to the scene of the offense. You cannot possess any firearms, weapons, or ammunition, and you cannot possess or consume any drugs without a valid prescription. Good luck to you. Okay. Next on demand. David Musselwhite, 24 CF 3446. Media approved. Are you David Musselwhite? Yes, ma'am. You were arrested on a charge of burglary of an unoccupied dwelling, petty theft, and possession of a controlled substance. There's probable cause to support the arrest. Public defender's office is appointed on count number one, the burglary. Your bond is set at $5,000. On count two, the petty theft. Your bond is set at $500. And on count three, possession of a controlled substance. Your bond is set at $1,500. You are to have no contact with the victim and the co-defendant in the case. You're not to return to the scene. You cannot possess any firearms, weapons, or ammunition, and you can't consume or possess any drugs unless you have a valid prescription. Good luck, sir. Thank you, ma'am. It's Corey Day on demand. Sir? Kathleen Petrie, 24 3448. He approved. Are you Kathleen Petrie? Yes, ma'am. You were arrested on the same charges as your co defendant, <clears throat> except for one. <clears throat> Burglary of an unoccupied dwelling and petty theft, there's probable cause to support the arrest. Your bond on count number one is $5,000. On count number two, the bond is set at $500. You were to have no contact with the co-defendant and the victim in this case. You're not to return to the scene of the offense. You're not to possess any firearms, weapons, or ammunition, or consume any drugs without a valid prescription. Or date. On demand. We'll be in recess for a few minutes. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Velez, you were arrested on a charge of reckless driving with wanton disregard of the safety of others. There's probable cause to support the charge. The bond in this case will be set at $2,500. You are not to drive without a valid driver's license. You are not to consume any drugs unless you have a valid prescription, no firearms, weapons, or ammunition. You are out on bond in 24 CF 2665 for aggravated battery and criminal mischief and uh, aggravated battery on a pregnant person. You are also out on bond in 24MM2122 for criminal mischief. Your bonds in both of those cases will be revoked and they will be set at none. Next court date, November 14th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4B. If out on bond, December 6th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4E. Anthony Patrick Jordan, Jr., case 24CF3432. Are you Anthony Patrick Jordan? Yes, ma'am. You were arrested on a charge of possession of cocaine and methamphetamine. There's probable cause to support the arrest. Your Honor, was this the reset? Yes, this is the reset. I, was there a supplemental that was provided? 
There was one that was emailed to Miss Broadway um, at 1220, which I know I'm sure is it's after you were already in the jail. At approximately 1909 hours, I arrived at 402 Simpson Road in Kissimmee, Florida. In reference to transporting an inmate, Anthony Patrick Jordan, Florida driver's license J6850159340. For incident number 24122020. Once in the booking area, correction staff began a search of Anthony. During the search, correction staff found a white powdery substance in a small glass container that he believed to be cocaine in Anthony's left front pocket. In the same pocket, another small round plastic container containing what Anthony believed to be methamphetamine was found. The contraband was collected and entered into evidence at Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Due to the aforementioned information, I have probable cause to believe that Anthony Patrick Jordan violated Florida Statute Section 951.22-1H as it is unlawful except through regular channels as duly authorized by the sheriff or officer in, a, in charge to introduce into or possess upon the grounds of any county detention facility which are contraband, any narcotic, hypnotic, or excitative drug or drugs of any kind or nature, including nasal inhalers, sleeping pills, barbiturates, and marijuana. And, uh, there was, was a there supplement a, to that. Is, is there a field test on these? I have a second supplement that I emailed to your honor's judicial assistant. I'm not sure if you received it, but it does go on to provide information about a field test. I have it printed. If you're honored, do you have it there with you? Yes, I can hand it up. It looks like there's another supplement here. It's not sworn to, it's not signed, but it's written by Deputy Sheriff S. Fernandez, badge 3295, zone 67. It says that. On November 5th, at approximately 2343 hours, I arrived at 2000 North Ponciana Boulevard, Kissimmee, Florida, to begin packaging the suspected cocaine and methamphetamine found in Anthony Jordan's left front pocket. The small circle container contents were tested using an agency you issued testing kit, providing a presumptive positive for methamphetamine. The small glass container's contents were tested using an agency-issued testing kit, providing a presumptive positive for cocaine. The presumptive positive cocaine was weighed, measuring at approximately 2 grams. The presumptive positive methamphetamine was weighed, measuring less than 1 gram. All items, including the containers, the presumptive positive methamphetamine and cocaine, were in, was packaged, and submitted into evidence at Osceola County Sheriff's Office. Photographs were taken of the items and uploaded into evidence via Axon Capture. Your Honor, uh, due to the supplemental not being sworn to or signed, the defense would still ask that he be released on his own recognizance as there's no probable cause in the original arrest affidavit. I'll grant that request. Pub, uh, probable cause found OR, the defendant on those, based on those reasons, public defender appointed, no drugs unless you have a valid prescription, no firearms, weapons, or ammunition. And you have to make all of your court appearances. If I could clarify to your honor, not to interrupt, but your honor found probable cause or did not find probable cause? I did not find it. The affidavit where there is probable cause is not sworn to. Thank you. Thank you. Pedro Rodriguez. No app found to the PD's office by the county. So Mr. Rodriguez, you were here yesterday and I had you had your initial appearance on the out-of-county warrant. 
and there was some clarification that needed to be made with regard to the case that you have before me. I stated on the record that your bond and that you were out on conditional release in 19 F2948. Your conditional release was revoked and the bond in that case is set at none. And as I stated yesterday, the situation is still the same. You're going to go to Polk County and take care of that case. And then when you're finished in Polk County, you'll come back here. Uh, and question. Yeah. You can continue, Your Honor. Come back here and then um, we'll deal with the case for which you were on conditional release. Just ask any questions. Can I, can I ask a question, please? Say it one more time. Kevin Avalon Hernandez. This is case 24 CT 5301. Kevin Avalon Hernandez. Spanish. Your Honor, this is Spanish interpreter is needed. Yes, yeah. I, she's, she's on the call. Just have him. Somebody can somebody can tell him. Just come up to the podium. Lewis, can you tell them just come to the microphone? Good afternoon, Your Honor. This is Christopher Vansko, state certified court interpreter. I have been previously sworn. Thank you. All right. This is Kevin Avalon Hernandez, 24 CT 5301. We are doing initial appearances and they don't need the headset. Sir, tell me your full name, please. Señor, dígame cuál es su nombre completo, por favor. Eh, Kevin Alejandro Villar Hernández. Kevin Alejandro Villar Hernández. You were arrested on a charge of operating a vehicle without a valid driver's license, and Señor, there is probable cause to support the arrest. Señor, usted se le arrestó porque este, se le acusó de haber manejado un vehículo de motor sin tener licencia válida, y se determinó que existen los indicios razonables de criminalidad para ese ilícito. Okay. The defender is appointed to represent you. La oficina de los defensores públicos se han designado en su caso para que le representen. The bond is set at five hundred dollars. Y te le fijará fianza de quinientos dólares. Sir, drive unless you have a valid driver's license. Señor, prohibido manejar a menos que tenga licencia válida. Also, you cannot consume or possess any drugs unless you have a valid prescription. Bien prohibido la tenencia y el consumo de este, sustancias reguladas a menos que tenga receta médica. Good luck to you. Next court date, November 14th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4B, if out on bond, December 3rd, 8.45 a.m., courtroom 5F. La próxima fecha de audiencia será el 14 de eh, noviembre a las 8 y media en la sala 4B, pero si está en libertad bajo fianza, la próxima fecha de audiencia sería el 3 de diciembre a las 8 y 45 en la sala 5F. The next case is Christian Castaneda Arenas, 24MM2735. Are you Christian Castaneda Arenas? Es usted, señor Christian Castaneda Arenas. Sí. Yes. You were arrested on a charge of battery, domestic violence, and there's probable cause to support the arrest. Bien, a usted se le arrestó porque le han acusado de haber cometido agresión física, violencia doméstica, y existen los indicios razonables de criminalidad para ese ilícito. The public defender has been appointed to represent you. La, se ha designado la oficina de los defensores públicos para que le representen. Your bond in this case is set at $2,000 and you are not to return to the scene of the offense. Se le fijará fianza de dos mil dólares y también se le va a prohibir regresar al lugar de los hechos. You cannot have any contact with the victim or any witnesses. Prohibido el contacto con la víctima y los, y los testigos. You cannot possess any firearms, weapons or ammunition. Prohibido la tenencia de armas de fuego, armas blancas y municiones. You or any drugs a valid También se le va a prohibir poseer o consumir sustancias reguladas a menos que tenga eh, receta médica. Good luck to you, sir. Buena suerte, señor. Your Honor, can we have a one-time return with law enforcement to collect any personal belongings? Yes. 
returned so, one time with law enforcement to collect personal belongings. So, Thank you, Your Honor. Por favor, que se le permita regresar al lugar de los hechos simplemente para que recoja sus pertenencias. Se lo voy a permitir en una sola ocasión y será escoltado por las autoridades. He's not there, but do you want to announce that? He's, he's, he's right there. You heard it. Oh, he is? Okay. Yeah. Next on demand. La fecha de audiencia será por señalamiento judicial. Next case, Marlon Mejia, case 24-CT-5305. Are you Marlon Mejia? Yes. Este señor Marlon Mejia, yes. You were charged or you were arrested on a charge of operating a vehicle without a valid license and there's probable cause to support the arrest. Señor, usted fue bajo, eh, puesto bajo arresto por haber manejado un vehículo de motor sin tener licencia válida y se ha determinado que existen los indicios de criminalidad para ese ilícito. The public defender is appointed and your bond is set at $500. Se le designará la oficina de los defensores públicos y también se le fijará fianza de $500. As a condition of your bond, you are not to drive without a valid license. Como condición de su fianza, se le va a prohibir que maneje un vehículo motor a menos que tenga licencia válida. You cannot consume any drugs without a valid prescription. Prohibido el, el consumo de fármacos a menos que tenga eh, eh, receta médica. You were out on bond in Osceola County case 23CT3566 for DUI. Usted se encontraba bajo libertad, bajo fianza por el caso del condado de Osceola 23CT3566 que se le había acusado por haber manejado bajo los efectos. Based on probable cause being found in the new law offense, your bond in the... Case ending in 3566 will be revoked and set at none. Debido a que se ha determinado que existen indicios de criminalidad por el nuevo ilícito, la fianza del caso 3566 será revocada y se le impondrá prisión preventiva. Good luck to you, sir. Buena suerte, señor. Next court date, November 14th, 8.30 a.m., courtroom 4B. If out on bond, December 2nd, 8.45 a.m., courtroom 5A. La próxima fecha de audiencia será el 14 de noviembre a las 8 y media en la sala 4B, pero si se encuentra en libertad bajo fianza, la próxima fecha de audiencia será el 12 de diciembre a las 8 y 45 en la sala 5A. Good luck to you. Buena suerte. The next one is Yomar Morales Negron, 24MM2736. Are you Yomar Morales Negron? Es usted, señor Yomar Morales Negron? Yes, sir. Yes? You were arrested on a charge of resisting without violence and possession of drug paraphernalia, and there's probable cause to support the arrest. Señora, usted se le arrestó por desobediencia a las autoridades y por tenencia de arminícolos de drogas y se ha determinado que existen los indicios de criminalidad por, para esos ilícitos. Public defender is appointed. Se ha designado la oficina de los defensores públicos para que le representen. Your bond on both counts will be $500 for a total of $1,000. Se le impondrá fianza de $500 con respecto a cada ilícito para un total de $1,000 en fianza. You are not to consume any drugs while you are on bond and you cannot possess any firearms, weapons, or ammunition. Prohibido el consumo de drogas mientras se encuentra en libertad bajo fianza y también se le va a prohibir la tenencia de armas blancas, armas de fuego y municiones. Good luck to you, sir. Buena suerte, señor. Next court date on demand. La próxima fecha de audiencia será por señalamiento judicial. Adrian Gonzalez Mercado. No application found to the PD's office. Are you Adrian Gonzalez Mercado? El señor Adrian Gonzalez Mercado. Correcto. Correct. You were arrested on a warrant out of Orange County, Florida for a violation of probation where the underlying charge was battery. A usted se le arrestó. Había emitido una orden de arresto proveniendo del condado de Orange este, por, incumpli por eh, incumplimiento de su régimen de libertad a prueba. And your bond in this case is set at none. Se le impondrá prisión preventiva, cero fianza. 
y se le designará lo, la oficina de los defensores públicos para que le representen. And the last case I have is David uh, oh. Morales Kitian. Your Honor, I apologize. What was the case number for the previous one? Oh, okay. My apologies. That um, actually, it's an Orange County case, but I have the Orange County case oh. number. That works, Your Honor. Okay, Orange County case number twenty-four CF four one eight two zero. I apologize, Your Honor. There's too much noise in the jail. I couldn't hear. Can you all hit the mute button there, please? The case number is Orange County case 2024 CF 41820. Thank you so much, Your Honor, and I apologize for interrupting. Oh, no worries. No worries. The next one is David Morales Kitian, case 24 CF 2885. No, for the PD's office. Mr. Rivas, do you represent Mr. Morales? Señor Rivas, usted representa al señor Morales. Can you show him, show Mr. Morales? Yes. Okay, thank you. Sí, su señoría. Sir, tell me your full name, please. Señor, por favor, dígame cuál es su nombre completo. David Alejandro Morales Quitan. David Alejandro Morales, Morales Quitan. Sir, probable cause was previously found on a charge for aggravated stalking, battery, Robbery by sudden snatching, violation of a domestic violence injunction, and tampering with a witness. Señor, previamente se había determinado que existían los indicios razonables de criminalidad por acecho calificado, agresión física, robando este repentina, eh, de repetidamente y por manipular a un testigo y por incumplir con una orden de protección. State, are you seeking pretrial detention on um, any of the charges in the arrest warrant? Fiscalía, ¿acaso están buscando que se le imponga prisión preventiva con respecto a estos ilícitos? No, Your Honor. No, su señora. So, on count number one, the aggravated stalking... Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Rivas, do you wish to be heard with regard to bond? Entonces, con respecto al cargo número uno, el de acecho calificado, eh, bueno, hagamos esto. El licenciado, eh, ¿qué quiere usted decir con respecto a esto? Judge, I would just ask for a reasonable bond according to the schedule and the aggravated stalking, and then the other one subsequent to that, Judge. He does have an immigration hold, uh, just for the court record. Then, Su señoría, yo simplemente estoy solicitando que se le imponga una eh, fianza razonable con respecto a la acusación de acecho calificado y con toda acusación. Y también le quiero eh, dejar saber que este acusado tiene una detención migratoria. And just to very briefly note, too, for the state side of things with bond under 741.2901, subsection 3, just because this is um, domestic violence related, there is an injunction that I have, a case number 4, where Mr. David Morales Kitan or Kitian is the respondent in a domestic violence injunction. That case number is 49-2024-DR-002450. Entonces, simplemente para que quede claro del lado de la eh, Fiscalía, con respecto al artículo de 741.2901, artículo 3, este caso tiene que ver con violencia doméstica y por lo tanto existe un caso de eh, una orden de protección con respecto al señor David Morales. Él es el acusado en ese caso. Ese caso es el número 24 DR002450. All right. The bond on count number one, aggravated stalking, will be set at $5,000. Entonces, con respecto al cargo número, se hecho calificado, se impondrá fianza de $5,000. On the battery charge, the bond is set at $1,500. Con respecto a la acusación de agresión física, se le impondrá fianza de $1,500. On the robbery by sudden snatching, the bond is set at $1,500. Entonces, con respecto a la acusación de robo, de eh, robar de manera repentina, se le impondrá fianza de $1,500 dólares. On the violation of domestic violence injunction, the bond is set at $2,500. Con respecto al incumplimiento de la orden de protección, se impondrá fianza de $2,500 dólares. On the tampering of the witness, the bond is set at $2,500 dólares. Entonces, con respecto a la acusación de manipular a un testigo, se impondrá fianza de $2,500 dólares.
You would have no contact with the victim in the case. Pido el contacto con la víctima en este caso. To return to the scene of the offense. Prohibido regresar al lugar de los hechos. You're not to consume any drugs without a valid prescription. Prohibido el consumo de fármacos sin receta médica. And you cannot possess any firearms, weapons, or Debido a la tenencia de armas de fuego, armas blancas y municiones. Mr. Morales, you were out on bond in Orange County case 24MM404825, a petty theft charge. Señor Morales, usted se encuentra en libertad bajo fianza por un caso en el condado de Orange, es el caso 24MM404825. Okay. Got you. Hold on real quick. Who's uh, pre-trial today? Is that Miss Henderson? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I tried to find that Orange County case. I, I could not find that. Eh, yo traté de buscar este caso del condado de Orange. Lamentablemente no lo pude encontrar. That's not for the record. I mean, he's on diversion. And I think when he went in front of Orange County on Monday, the judge said he was going to take no action on that case. But my understanding, he's on diversion on that case. Su señoría, yo tengo entendido que él está bajo el programa de desviación en el condado de Orange y cuando él compareció bajo el, eh, ante el juez el lunes, el juez indicó que él no iba a tomar acción con respecto a ese caso, debido a que se encuentra en el programa de desviación. To supplement the court's information, and I'm not sure if this has helpful, but I see in our system his last name doesn't have the hyphen, so maybe that's why it's not showing up. But I do see that case number, and I do see that it is in diversion. Simplemente para aclarar las cosas, eh, aquí cuando busqué en el sistema, el nombre de él no está separado por un guión, y es por eso, y yo no sé si esto ayude, pero yo creo que por eso es que no está encontrando el caso. Okay, well, thank you very much. Then I'm not going to take any action on it either. Entonces, yo tampoco voy a tomar acción con respecto a ese caso. Muchas gracias. Good luck to you, sir. Buena suerte, señor. Thank you, Judge. Good to see you. La próxima fecha de audiencia será por señalamiento judicial. Your Honor, uh, do you mind recalling a, a Rodriguez Pedro? He was an individual you were, uh, revoked his conditional release on. Mm -hmm. uh, He was apparently conditional release, I think it was last week, and he got served with the FTA warrant while still in jail, he was never actually conditionally released. Um, would you consider leaving the conditional release as it, as it was? He was on conditional release in front of me for competency. The information that, that I got from him is he was never released from the jail, that the warrant from Polk County was served on him after he was conditionally released in this case. 